Hi guys, this is Alice. Today our topic is about vacuum casting. I would like to know tell you more about the processing of the vacuum casting. Let's go. At the very beginning of the vacuum casting, we need to prepare some prototypes by 3D printing or CNC machining. According to the prototype of different sizes, we tend to make the containers manually surrounding them by using several plugs and using hot metal glue to fix them. For the small prototypes, we often choose to mix and degrass the liquid silicone by the mixture manually and then pouring the silicone into the containers slowly until fully covering them. But there are still some bubbles left. They will directly affect the accuracy. So we will put it in the machine, which will extract the bubbles. After the air being fully extracted, our craftsmen would take them out. After curing for an hour, we will cut and open the mold carefully. Then take the prototypes out of the mold. The next step is to seal the mold. For mold with bigger sizes, we will use the tools to fix it. All the efforts we did are aimed at preventing the mold from leaking. Now put the mold into the vacuum casting machine and prepare mixed liquid materials. The common materials we use are ABS, PP, PA, PC, PMMA. Connect the holes joined well. After that, start a controller. The machine will automatically mix and cast the liquid material into the mold. An hour later, we open the mold and take the plastic parts out of it. That's the processing of vacuum casting. And here are some samples we made before. Like car bumpers, car lights, electronics, medical devices. You can visit us to learn more details.